9-11 shook the world. In its wake, there's growing tension between Muslims and the West. Fear has fueled a surge in anti-Islamic political movements in America and Europe. There are dark clouds developing over Europe. Pim Fortuyn is dead. Holland, once a heartland of European liberalism and tolerance, has seen political murders. And now, the rise of an influential far-right politician, Gert Wilders. Do I have a problem with Islam? Yes, I think it's a fascist ideology. Gert Wilders, a Dutch politician who's called for the Quran to be banned in the Netherlands, has been refused entry to Britain. No entry. A far-right Dutch MP has branded the British government cowards. As the far-right gains ground in much of Europe, Wilders' extreme ideas are changing the Netherlands and having an impact across the continent and beyond. We send a clear message to Islamists and Islamism. Get the hell out of Europe now. Meneer Wilders. Meneer Wilders. In this film, Dutch documentary maker Joost van der Valk follows Wilders on his election campaign show to try and understand one of Europe's leading anti-Islamists who's on the cusp of power. If he ever became the leader of Holland, I think it would create a tremendous awakening throughout Europe, throughout the Western world. He would create an atmosphere for war. The gematigde Islam bestaat niet. Het bestaat niet omdat er geen onderscheid is tussen goede Islam en slechte Islam. Er is Islam. And there it me up. For the first time in history, an elected politician is standing trial for incitement to hatred. His name is Gert Wilders, the leader of the Dutch Party of Freedom, the PVV. In court, extracts from his own inflammatory writings are read out by the prosecution. And the Koran is at my kampf van a religie die beoogt anderen te elimineren, die die anderen, niet moslims, ongelovige honden noemt. The main evidence against him, the comments he has repeatedly made in public and in the media. Ik geloof met heel mijn hart en ziel dat de vrijheid in Nederland bedreigd wordt. If found guilty, he faces a maximum sentence of two years in prison. Dat wat ons erfdeel is, waar generaties alleen maar van konden dromen, dat die vrijheid niet langer een gegeven is, niet langer een vanzelfsprekendheid is. In the press melee during a break in the proceedings, Joost van der Valk films Wilders for the first time. Ja, ik denk dat het voor uh, niet alleen voor Nederland, maar voor iedereen uh, belangrijk is uh, dat er een vrijheid van meningsuiting bestaat. Dat je niet vanwege kritiek op ideologieën of religies uh, voor de rechter kan worden gedaagd. Ik ben ervan overtuigd dat het tot niets anders kan leiden dan tot een uh, volledige vrijspraak. But Wilders has to wait. His trial has been adjourned till the middle of 2011. Van der Valk, working on this film with the liberal Dutch broadcaster VPRO, whom Wilders treats with suspicion, chases up an interview request. I speak with Joost van der Valk. I had a request ingediend for an interview with the heer Wilders. Wilders is probably the only internationally known Dutch politician. Not only because of his striking appearance, but also because he takes such a notorious stand on immigration and constantly denounces all things Islamic. Als onze nieuwe Nederlanders zo graag hun liefde voor deze zevende eeuwse woestijnideologie willen tonen, dan moeten ze dat maar doen in een islamitisch land, niet in Nederland. 60% van diefstal met geweld wordt door hen gepleegd. Tuig, dat is het gewoon. There are almost a million Dutch Muslims today, one in 16 of the population. Many have contributed enormously to Holland's prosperity and way of life. But that cuts little ice for the builders. Instead, he plays on a statistical fear, supported by a piece of propaganda on YouTube, which has had more than 12 million hits. The population of Europe is not declining. Why? 
immigration, Islamic immigration. Of all population growth in Europe since 1990, 90% has been Islamic immigration. In the Netherlands, 50% of all newborns are Muslim, and in only 15 years, half of the population of the Netherlands will be Muslim. In a matter of years, Europe as we know it will cease to exist. Filters is not a unique phenomenon. Anti-immigration, anti-Islamic parties are achieving success in other European parliaments too. The new right is gaining ground in Hungary, Denmark, Belgium and in many other countries across the continent. And the message is having an impact in Britain too. Sheikh Ibrahim Mogra is an Imam in Leicester and a Wilders watcher. He works for an organization seeking to promote a distinct Muslim identity in tune with British cultural norms and values. Although there are no anti-Islamists in the British Parliament, he is concerned about the ripple effect from the continent. The rise of anti-Muslim feelings within Europe is extremely worrying. Uh, and this, is, this has been on the rise uh, as a result of the likes of Mr. Wilders and others who twist the facts, who paint a picture of, uh, of lies about the Muslims. Despite these concerns, an increasing number of Dutch people find Wilder's politics attractive. Truck driver Jack Pullman is one of them. He lives in a neighborhood where racial tensions are high. On estates like these, most of the residents are of Moroccan descent. Others here find them unwilling to integrate and their children's attitudes threatening. Crime rates are high and many survive on state benefits. These types of neighborhoods we're going to see more and more of. They show that things can go wrong in society. At the root of all this is that Islam attempts to aggressively take over the Netherlands and Europe. You could say that these neighborhoods in the Netherlands function as barracks for their cause, their Islamic faith. So I think, and will continue to think, that they will never completely assimilate. They'll never do that. So you mean even if they... Wait a second. Okay. Wait. 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 See how well they've integrated already. So what did they say? Dutchman. See ya. See. That's what I mean. This is happening in the Netherlands on a massive scale. Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting completely out of hand. The Hague, Holland's administrative capital. Today, in some neighborhoods, more than half of the population is Muslim. Filmmaker van der Valk is meeting Hafish Kainaka, a Turkish teacher who sees worrying parallels with the past and another persecution. It comes to the point where I'm thinking of the 1940s, when Jews had to wear a Star of David. And ask at a shop, can I come in? Can I enter the swimming pool? It's almost the same as back then. Hey, Jack. Shall we drive down there again? 
Nou, dan ga ik even niet no, meer I'm not going vindt. again if you don't mind. Die jongens waren aardig. Uh, These lads were pretty wound up and threatening. En aardig bedreigend, dus. Uh, well, I don't fancy ik heb geen zin dat, uh, having them throw stones uh, through the windscreen. Ik heb geen zin dat ze weer een paar, uh, misschien een paar stenen door de ruiten so, gooien. Dan, uh, no. He wants a better country, right? He says if you elect me, I'll give you this, that and the other. There are lots of problems in Holland, I can't deny that. The economy is bad, we have food banks, problems with education, with youngsters and an aging population. But what does Islam have to do with any of these problems? Why are we? <sighs> the country is in a bad state and Islam is the culprit. Wilder's political ideology is set out in a film he produced, Fitna, which is also being used as evidence in his hate crime trial. It consists of violent clips depicting Muslims as barbaric and bloodthirsty. It selects passages from the Quran that Wilder says encourage Muslims to hate anyone who isn't Islamic. So that unfortunate person who made that film called whatever he called it, shame on him that he would insult one-fifth of the world's population, Muslims. Sheikh Khaled Yassin is an American Muslim teacher. Extremely popular among young European Muslims, he has embarked on a mission to de-radicalize them. He is also very critical of Gert Wilders. Shame on him that he would also insult another one-fifth of the world's population who are Christians. No Christian would ever say something like that about the Quran. And no Muslim would ever say that about the Bible. And no sensible person would say that about a scripture unless he has his own agenda. Is Mr. Wilders an Orientalist? No. Does he have some special um, discipline study in Islam? No. Does he know something about the Quran where he studied the Arabic language? No. So what's his authority? He's just another reactionary but he's a public figure. That's what makes it bad. February 2009, Wilders was scheduled to show Fitna in the House of Lords. The invitation caused outrage among Britain's most radical Muslims. My dear Muslims, we are here to teach this dog a lesson. No, 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 no. We're here to protest against this man, Gert Wilders, who insulted the message of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Obviously, he knows that in Islam, the punishment for the one who insults the prophet is capital punishment. He said the one who insults any of the prophets, kill him. To prevent trouble on the streets, that visit was banned. But a year later, in March 2010, the British government relented and allowed Wilders to make his appearance. He's the guest of Lord Pearson of Rannoch, the former leader of the UK Independence Party. And he finally showed his film to the peers of the realm. Today, in the mother of all parliaments in the uh, House of Lords, I showed Fitna, I had a speech and I had a debate, and I'm so proud of my friends to invite me and to be able to do so. I'm open to any questions um, you have. Thank you very much indeed. Mm -hmm. and you, I Threats to his life hadn't led him to temper his views. Hi, I'm uh, Rafael Satter with the Associated Press in London. Um, I'm just wondering, if you did become uh, the leader of the Netherlands, uh, what would you do with the troop presence in Afghanistan? We are saying today that we should um, not extend our presence in Afghanistan and that other NATO countries should take uh, a bigger part. We have done enough. I want the international community to stay in Afghanistan and to fight